Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back trying some more goodies today. Yeah, and I'm really excited because this box comes from a place we've had a box from one time before. Yeah, just the once. And the stuff in there was really cool and really interesting and I can't wait to try some more. Yes, our box is from Switzerland today and it's actually been over a year since we last tried some Swish goodies. Yeah. Swish. Swish. Swish, swish, swish goodies. Swish. As always, should we start with the notes? Yes, let's. We've got a lovely note today. Look at that. Ooh. It's a handmade, I think, from like a photo. Yeah, it looks like she stuck a photo on the front. Mm -hmm. That's a lovely view, isn't Into it? Into a card. Hi, Kate and Alex. My name is Lorraine. I live in Switzerland in a small village called Meji. Meji or Meish? Meish. 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 Village called Meish. As you know, Switzerland is divided in 26 cantons. Yes, we know that from the last video. Yep, and has four national languages. That is just amazing, isn't it? Some of the cantons are bilingual. I live in one of these. I am from the French speaking part and the other part of my canton speaks German. Mm. And then obviously you can speak English. Yeah, you take for granted that in your country you can go anywhere and the people will speak the same language as you. Yeah, we but are to, so lucky. But to go to another part of your country and they speak a completely different language, that's yes. so funny. But what? I wonder if people are more bilingual and so you actually just get used to having to operate in two languages. Yeah. I tried to include items that you haven't tasted as well as new products from Swiss brands that you tried in your first Swiss box. That's awesome. I hope to see you one day in Switzerland. Best wishes, Lorraine. Beautiful writing. Yeah, lovely Beautiful card. card. Bernie. Oh no, Bern. Bern. This is the federal place in Bern, the capital of Switzerland. This is giving me Niagara Falls. Yeah. Schaffhausen. 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 These are the falls of the Rhine. You can take a boat and get really close to these. That's amazing. Wow. Look, there's like a rainbow there as well. That kind of happened wow. in Niagara Falls, yeah. isn't it? Basel. 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 This is the river, the Rhine, which flows through the city of Basel. This city has my heart. It is located on the border with Germany and France. Mm. There is even a point where you are in three countries at once. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. We'd love to go to yeah. Switzerland. That's definitely one of the places definitely that is cool on my list. Visit. Thank you very much for including those. It's always nice when we can see a part of, you yeah, know. Get the... a feel, not just of the products, but what it's like to be exactly, there. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Nice, so we can it? like picture it. Lorraine, thank you so much for those beautiful cards. Uh, we will be sending Lorraine a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to grab themselves one of our boxes, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, that's a great way for you guys to support the channel and also get your hands on some of our British goodies. I know we usually start with a crisp, but please can we crack open this drink yes, because I that's... am parched. Drink for you? Yeah. Although okay. it's another hot one today, so our ice is really melted. To drink the ice water first. Mm. I know a lot of you guys say it's very American, but I just love ice with my drinks. It's very American. Yeah, a lot really? of a lot of you guys say that I'm I'm turning into an American or whatever because I do think you get a lot of ice in your drinks in America, don't you? With well, like, I like your restaurants sodas or just all the stuff. Time yeah, at home restaurants. Not only has Lorraine sent us amazing cards, she has included a photo of every item and like a description. Wow. This is only one third of the box. That took so some research. It did, yeah. So, and some Thank time and effort and dedication yeah. to put all of them there. So we really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so if you don't want to miss out on those other videos, um, click subscribe and you'll be notified. So this is Sin Alco. I'm guessing it's it. like an orangey drink. Like an orange soda. It I says, Pont for ditch un pont pour toi. And the translation, Alex? Um, a point for you. <laughs> Sinalco is a Swiss drink created in 1905 by a neuropathic doctor. It is made with lemon, orange, and tangerine. It means without alcohol. Oh. This smells amazing. amazing. Yeah. I yeah, love okay. like tangerine, orange, mm. so with a bit of lemon should be really nice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that is delightful. Delicious. The only thing I don't doing? like about ice is where you get a oh. flat one and then you can't actually... It's Suck not it satisfying up. to drink because you're just like... I know, and I actually really don't enjoy drinking through a straw. No, neither do I. This is really delicious. Really delicious. I can't quite work out what brand it is, but it kind of feels fresh, almost like an orangina yeah. in a way. But then it also has like a vibe of one of the other orangey drinks we've had from a different country. Yeah. Like Crush. 
but it's not as like artificially flavored as yeah. crush it's more fresh like orangina yeah but i think the mix of the lemon and the orange and the tangerine makes it more like yeah. fruity but you can really there's something about the tangerine that gives it like a lightness isn't mm-hmm. there what are you giving that i'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 i'm gonna give it <gasps> fantastic no do you know what that tastes like what so me, mum and Holes recently went to Croatia. It tastes like pee pee. Pee pee. Which sounds like it's bad, but yeah. pee pee is a good yeah. drink in Croatia. You should be drinking pee pee. It pee-pee. felt so weird saying to the um, waiter, can I have a pee pee, please? <laughs> that's like, if you don't know, that's like, can I go for a wee, please? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Can I have a pee pee? I think I'm going to have to give it a 10 as well. Absolutely delicious. We've got two snacks here that are like crispy. This looks like Sherweiser Krauter. Herbs Susie. These are also Swiss crisps from the brand Farm Chips. They are made with Swiss potatoes and Swiss alpine herbs. They are supposed to taste like if they were handmade, so they are a little bit thicker Ooh, but nice. have more crunch. Ooh, that's what we like to hear. Ooh. How those alpine herbs? Yeah, they smell like fresh. Ooh. It almost smells like fresh crouton. Mmm. Mm. Wow. And there's almost like a plainness, like a a dryness about them. Mm. It's so herby, isn't it? The way the flavour comes is very different to other crisps. Yeah. The crunch is amazing. It's not as thick as I thought it'd be. It's thick, but it's not like really hard. It's a really nice crunch, a bite, a thickness. It's almost powdery, yeah. isn't it? And then you get the herbs afterwards. Mm. They're so delicate, but also really punchy at the same time. And what's really nice is, I'm guessing there's like oregano in there, but usually all you taste is like oregano. This is yeah. really, you can taste it in the back melon. It's a really nice balance mm. of herbs, isn't it? These are amazing. Mm. These taste like fresh potatoes in a way. Oh, oh no, you wasted I'm one. I'm getting that. You'll have to. Quick. Not wasting that. Five second roll. 10 out of 10. Yeah, definitely 10 out of 10. There's something about them that is so different. The yeah. other crisps. Really They're lovely. amazing. They're probably some of the best crisps I've had for a while. Really, really nice. And then this is Veya bean salt snack, never fried. Ooh, feel that bag. Doesn't it feel mm, nice and satisfying? Lovely texture. I feel like these are modern and new. You already know the Swiss brand Zweifel and its crisps made with Swiss potato since 1958. The two flavours, nature and paprika, you had in the other box are the classic ones and probably the most loved. Recently, the brand has created a new collection called Veya. These crisps are not potato based. In this packet, the crisps are made with beans, chickpeas, green peas, yellow peas, and black beans, which are my favorite ones. The other sorts are hummus, sweet potato, and peas. Ooh, nice. Maybe salted. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, but it's like a rice crisp in a way. Ow. Mmm. <laughs> It's like a rice cake, isn't it? It's like the thinnest rice cake you will have ever seen. And the addition of the beans are really lovely. Really nice. And then the sea salt mm. just brings the flavour out, doesn't it? Perfect amount of sea salt. I feel like with the healthier crisps, I'm never like that like fussed about mm. them. These are delicious. Probably one of the nicer, healthier like chips. And they really, are really so nice. thin, aren't they? Yeah, and it's nice because it makes them crunchy. Mm. Mm. I think I'll give them an eight. Out of like all the healthy things, I'm giving mm. like a nine, ten. Yeah. But in terms of crisp, I would probably only give them an eight, actually. Because mm. I would much rather a less healthy crisp. I, I really like them. I think I'd give them an eight. This is Darvida. Oh, is this like a cheesy fromage? Mm. Darvida. Darvida. Like Darvida. Yeah. Darvida. Darvida are crackers. The package I sent you is one of the most Swiss ones made with Swiss cheese called Le Gruyere. Oh, they are really thin. Yeah. I love stuff like that. You do. <laughs> it's just like really plain. Quite cheesy. You can definitely taste the Gruyere. That's what I like is that I often find some of the cheesy snacks too like cheesy, the cheddar, do you know what I mean? Mm. Because it's like the Gruyere, I, I think I prefer it. I think Lorraine is right. I would rather it with something, but some people would probably have that with wine or something and, and cheese and grapes. Mm. Like I feel that would be really nice on like a cheese table. That'd be a lovely cracker with like a glass of red wine. Yeah. Or like you say, even just a little bit of butter on there. Butter. Or like with a soup or something. Mm. Like butter some of them, have soup and that. You, I think that'd be really you nice. You love soup at the moment. Can't Why remember do I the say last that a lot? time I saw you eat soup, but every time recently we try something, you go, <laughs> that'd be good on top of soup. <laughs> 
I'm just thinking ahead for autumn, winter. Yeah. Do you know what? So many people are already like posting about autumn, winter. I feel like, especially with England, Let's having a real- Make the most out of Exactly, summer. and don't waste our life away. But mm. there's um Halloween stuff in Home Sense already. Oh, well, I saw someone say there was already um Tubs of Heroes out. Oh yeah, there's tubs of um, Quality Street and things like that. When do you start putting up like your Halloween decorations? Because some people love doing like the yeah, whole. I don't. You don't do any. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you giving that? I give it an eight out of ten. If I could get those here, they would be my new go-to crackers. Like sometimes we just get um, Jacob's crackers. Just yeah. With like oh, a bit of they'd be on. really good. I would buy these instead of those. Yeah, that's true. Actually, it would give just a plain cracker. Something of course, these else. have got they've got a little bit more texture, almost like a biscuitiness. That's the thing. I was only going to give them a seven, but that's because we're talking in terms of like crisps and everything. Yeah. But actually, that's a fantastic cracker that'd yeah. be really good on a cheese table. So yeah, I think they're really delicious. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to do some kind of bakery thing? Yeah, I think so. Because these look. Awesome awesome to me. These look absolutely delicious, don't they? Burger, it looks like one. So this one is Vogel Nestil. Or Nid ou Noisettes, which means bird's nest. Ah. This delicate short crust pastry base is surrounded by an almond ring and filled with raspberry jam. That these are good. Nice. And then I'll read the other one. Oh, oh these are made by Zwiffle. Zwiffle. I oh, like yeah. almondy things now. Oh, wow. So you've got pastry on what? the bottom. I guess that's the almond there. And then there's the jam. I thought that round bit around was the side the pastry, was the base. Yeah. And look at the jam. It's like in little... Yeah, lovely. Hello. Should I give it a go first yeah. and then pass it on? Because I feel like you won't get any jam from there. Mmm. That is lovely. Mmm. How nice is that? The jam is amazing. Mm. I'm excited for this now. Yeah, definitely. It was quite nutty around the edge, actually. Really nutty. It's not like too sweet, is it? It's a nice... Which I think you'll like. When you read that, I was kind of picturing more like a frangipan round. So for me, it's a lot more like natural tasting yeah. than I was expecting. Yeah, I thought it was going to have more of a marzipan flavour, yeah, yeah, but yeah, actually it's got quite like an earthy, nutty mm -hmm. flavour, which is um, really nicely balanced with the um, with, with the, the jam. jam yeah. And the, how nice is that biscuit underneath? Oh, pastry, Absolutely yeah. delicious. Mm. I feel like that would be a really good one for your bike rides. Yeah. Good burst of energy. Might take that with me on Wednesday. Or if it's still alive, if it's still I'm going to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to hide it. <laughs> The Swiss brand Burger is owned by Zwiffel. Yes, the company that makes crisps. They produce different biscuits and pastries. I included two of them, but they make lots of others. This one is Spitzbub. Burb? I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how you'd even... Something on your mind. <laughs> I don't even know how you combine those letters to say something. Or Coquin, which means smiley or malicious, malicious head. head. Smiley and malicious kind of seem opposites, yeah. but anyway. It is butter shortbread filled with raspberry jam. You can find it in almost every Swiss bakery and it is often baked at Christmas. Yeah, I can see things like this baked at Christmas mm. and maybe not a smiley face, maybe like a Christmas tree with like decorations yeah. sticking out. Oh, I literally cannot wait because if it's the same short crust biscuit. And jam. <laughs> there we go. Maybe it's when it's got a crack across it. That's when it's the malicious face. Oh, this looks lovely. Oh. oh. Different texture. This is more of a biscuit. All right, shortbread. Mm -hmm. That's really good. The shortbread is nice and light and buttery. And the jam is really sweet and lovely. I absolutely love that. But in some ways, minus the nuts, I feel like it's more soft, isn't it, in yeah. a way? And like the jam is thicker, so it was amazing mm. through my teeth. I probably prefer this because it's got yeah. like an extra layer to it. Because this is really nice, but it's quite simple because it's just the two things. Yeah, I thought I was going to like the biscuit more, but mm. actually I think the other one just tops it. They're absolutely fantastic. Have you got a score for those? I think I'm going to give the first one a nine. Yeah, me too. And I give this an eight. Mm -hmm. well, like let's have this petty pause. Petty pause. This is a small pause by Roland. Like Penny. Yeah. Rich in vitamin C. It's giving me Belvita breakfast yeah. biscuit vibes. Petty paws, which means little break, are biscuits. They're made of cereals with a fruity taste of orange, apple, kiwi, and lemon. There are two other flavors, yogurt and chocolate. So it looks like, like oat biscuit. Homemade, doesn't it? Heavy. Oh, smells great though. Mm -hmm. Lovely flavor. It's much more fruity than I was expecting. Mm. Almost tastes like there's little like pops of the fruit. Yeah, like little chewy bits of fruit in there. Cup of delicious. tea, that'd be delicious. Well, or on the go. Was that's a little true. Snack. You saying cup of tea, that'd be delicious. Mm. But do you know what I was picturing? Bit of yogurt. Breaking that up. That'd be nice. Or like scooping it up. Yeah. Mm. Or like with soup. 
Always oh, same. If it's sweet, you're just like on yogurt. If it's savory, it's, it's just like on oh, sweet. On sweet. 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 Out of all the breakfast bars, mm. that's going top because I find a lot of breakfast bars quite like boring and very drying. And even though it's really dry, it was so fruity. I felt, it felt good. Well, you could look at that and easily think, oh, that's going to be boring, mm -hmm. couldn't you? But actually there's so much flavor. I'm not going to lie. Delicious. I kind of did look at that and think, oh, it would just be like a, a breakfast yeah. bar. Boring, but it's good. it was delicious. It's good, yeah. <laughs> um, Lorraine, you are picking a fantastic box. Awesome box. Okay, should we go oval tea next? Yeah. Do you remember, we actually tried some Ovaltine things yeah. previously. Oh, am well, I saying called, it wrong? No, that, yeah. We realized this Oval Maltine, but Ovo it's Maltine. basically the same thing. It's just a different oh, brand. Oh, that I looks think. fantastic. Do you remember we had the, um, was it Oval Maltine that we had the spread? Yes. You have already tasted some products from so. Ovo Maltine, a Swiss brand that originally makes chocolate. Its slogan is, with Ovo, you won't perform it any better, but longer. In this box, I've included two other products, some biscuits filled with an Ovo Maltine cream and a chocolate bar, which is the last product they released. Oh, cool. <gasps> so that's that. Ooh, oh. Nice fishy. She's shiny. Really shiny. It's nice shine, when they've shine. got that. Put a shine on. That cream, cream filling in the looks amazing. It's really soft. And it looks like a lovely thickness of biscuit Ooh. and cream. It's like um, buttercream. Mmm. Mm. I love the flavour of multi things. Mm. You quite often like the Prince biscuits and things. I think this goes above those. Me too. Mm. Just because that malt. cream filling, yeah, the extra malt. Also, that cream filling is so soft. Literally like buttercream. Mm -hmm. And also, you know how sometimes chocolate biscuits aren't, are a bit weak? Yeah. It's giving me a bourbon feeling. It almost tastes like a bourbon, but with the mil multi. Yeah, it's like a nice, strong, crunchy biscuit, isn't it? That is my favorite chocolate biscuit mm. I've ever had. That's like 20 out of 10. Really? Fantastic. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to go 12 out of 10. It's really good, but I don't know if it's 20. I was going to go 12, but then I was like, I really like in England our fox round biscuits and things like that. Yeah. But there's just something about that. Yeah. I, I thought something covered in chocolate would be even better, but that creamy middle was so soft. I don't know if it's because it's so hot here, it's helped. Yeah. This has got, I've got high hopes of this. I don't know if it's the orange and the way it's packed, but you really think it's just more like a snack. Do you know what I mean? Like a snack, whereas mm. this is actually a chocolate. Bar. Yeah, the branding doesn't make me think chocolate no. bar really. I don't, don't know why that is. Mm. So just chocolate bar with the bits yeah. in. So kind of like the spread, but... Like nice soft chocolate in the middle. Mm. Mm. Almost like you've got the outside and then like a yeah. truffle. And you've got little multi crunch bits in there. Delicious. I'm going biscuits number one though. I love them. Really? Yeah. I think I've got to go this. Really? Mm. Or you can finish that then. Delicious, but it those reminds biscuits me, have something up on me. This reminds me of the Maltese bunny. That reminds me of that, the little bit of crunch mm. and the nice soft chocolate. That's true. It really reminds me of that. This is Villars Fusion Milk and Dark. This looks nicely displayed, doesn't it? I like it. It looks in this. fancy. It looks fancy, yeah. In a handy, like, little cardboard packaging. Oh, yeah. And usually we have a few brands over here that do the cardboard packaging, but it's much but more a bigger. There's something about chocolate in a square mm -hmm. that is really nice. Oh. Um, Ritter Spot. Ritter Spot. Ritter Spot. Oh, and feel how big the dips are. I think. Oh, wow. Is there like something in the Oh, wow. It's mm. like a Kit Kat, but really flat. It's like wow. Those. That's really. Really flat. I present you with this award. That's cool, isn't it? Villas is a Swiss brand. They make chocolate in their factory, located in the region of Fribourg. This company tries to be 100% Swiss made. Their raw materials and providers are from Switzerland, which means milk, sugar, and packaging from our That's country. Cool. This little chocolate is a fusion between dark and milk chocolate. Mm. The company also makes chocolates with alcohol, whiskey, liquor, and so on. Milk and dark. So thin and nice. Mmm. Oh, that's, what a lovely creamy flavour. Velvety. It's really velvety. It's almost like there's caramel in it, mm. but there isn't. Mm. It's 41% cacao. I think that's a good amount, 41%. Yeah. Because you can tell it's not just milk. It's not bitter though. It's silky and smooth. Silky is a good creamy word. Creamy and caramel. And indulgent. Well, I love lovely. the way, look at the way it like bends. Yeah. It doesn't snap. It kind of like bends. How much I can bend it before it breaks. Delicious. Very. 
Very nice. Yum. Yum. What are you giving that? I feel like we have really good chocolate over here in the UK. Mm -hmm. It's not always that often that we try just plain chocolate that yes. blows us out of the yeah. water, but I think that's really good. I think that's a 12 out of 10. Yeah, that it's is really delicious. It's really lovely. That's true. It's plain and that says something if we're enjoying mm. it that much. Yeah. That it's a really good chocolate because I feel like a lot of the chocolates that we've given 10 out of 10 or 12 out of 10, actually, if we'd had the chocolate on its own, mm. it might not have been. It's more about the filling. Yeah. For me, oh, okay. that is up my... I'm day, going yeah. 10 out of 10. Two more things to try. A physical chocolate and then we've got a drinking chocolate. Mm. Chocolate Susie, <laughs> Caramel Sally. <laughs> I think I'm saying that totally no. wrong. This chocolate bar, which contains hazelnuts and salted caramel, is from the Swiss brand for chocolate. Ah. The bar is a special one. It was supposed to be limited edition, but it's been so loved that they decided to keep selling it. Ah. The classic chocolate bar from this brand is only with chocolate and hazelnuts. Well, it looks very fancy, doesn't yeah, it? It looks, it looks absolutely awesome. Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't mind one of these on the way home from school. I know. Ooh. Ooh. It's like thin and like... Bumpy, it's not very like uniform, is it? So I feel like our chocolate here, it's always like perfect. Mm. Is this, oh, Ooh. this one's got a bit of like personality. Mm. Is this a bit like the um, Oval My Team one? A little bit. Oh, it's the hazelnuts, isn't mm. it? The nuts inside are really crunchy. Mm. And I think they're just nuts, but they taste more like, you know, when you eat a dime, it's like a shard. Mm. It almost tastes like it's more like a shark, like a peanut brittle. It's crunchy. Like a brittle, yeah. But actually, I think it's just like nuts. A toffee. You guys might want to kill me in Switzerland, but I'm going the oval maltine bar over that. <laughs> I think it's really nice, but I think because hazelnut isn't my favourite, mm. that's why I'm not the biggest fan of that bar. I would go this Villa's Villa's chocolate over it. This literally melts in your mouth. It does. As it has just in mine and disappeared. <laughs> and um, it's amazing. This is, this is amazing. What do you prefer, Villas or that? This. Really? It's got, I really like this, but this has got texture and crunch. The crunch was and really I good. And I love the kind of creamy flavor from yeah. the hazelnut. That was it's creamy just, and velvety, wasn't it? And it just melts in your mouth. It's amazing. This is, I'm jealous. I, I missed out on my after school. <laughs> yeah. Best snack in the world. <laughs> Could you imagine having that after school? This Amazing. is 20 out of 10. This I think is it's, incredible. It's really delicious. It's just hazelnut's not my favourite. Yeah. So maybe I would get on better with the other flavours because mm. I thought it was just going to be caramel and like salt. But Oh yeah, salted caramel. Oh, the salted caramel is the crunch. It's not salted caramel oh. soft, is it? Oh. So it is like, so it is a, like a brittle. brittle. That's what ah. I think anyway. Because there is that rich caramel flavour yeah. now thinking about it, but it's And that's why it tasted a bit like a dime yeah. crunch. Yeah, I didn't think it was a nut crunch because yeah. it was too hard. I was thinking hazelnut is too... It, you can bite through it quite yeah. well, actually. Oh, how I've funny. got to give that a 20 out of 10. Right. That is fantastic. It is good, but I'll probably only give it like a 7. Okay. I think, uh, I think I'll upset a lot of Swiss. Yeah, but if you're not into hazelnut, you're not into hazelnut. Exactly. Last but not least, we have four sachets. How exciting. Do so we have to make them all at one time? No. And this Coatina. looks it, like it comes in a spread as well. Oh, cool. It is a chocolate powder that you mix with hot or cold milk. This powder also exists with white or dark chocolate. The company has also released a chocolate spread as an alternative to Nutella. I thought Ooh, so, because look at the spread on there. Yeah. Let me smell. It's a bit like the Milka one we saw, mm. we had. So we have made our drink the cold way. Yeah, although you're trying to confuse so everyone because you put it in a mug. I put it in a mug. It smells good. It smells like a recently? syrup. It was um, from Brazil. Teddy or something. <laughs> Toddy. 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 That's <laughs> what you said last time. Oh, it literally tastes like... I've had Nesquik cereal for breakfast and I've eaten all that and I'm Ocean literally just like drinking the milk. Isn't that nice? <laughs> like I said, I didn't think I was a chocolate milk gal. But I you certainly are. am. That's mm. like taking me back to my childhood because I used to have Cocoa Pops. No, what are the bigger ones? The Nesquik. The Nesquik. Mm. And they were slightly bigger and more crunchy, which I loved. I used to have them for breakfast and I'd drink the milk. That is delicious. Yeah, it's good, Really, isn't it? really good. It's really rich and chocolatey. It's a real good chocolate flavour. It doesn't taste like a powder. It's really, yeah. really nice. I obviously can't speak for the hot, but I think I would prefer that cold. Yeah. I actually think, I don't know, I think you sometimes taste flavours more when it's they're cold. It's almost like a milkshake. 
Yeah. It comes more like a milkshake. Oh. I wonder what you'd do if you like whizz that up and Ooh. it kind of got air in it and stuff. Do you Be know nice. what? You're right there. It tastes like a milkshake that's just melted. Yeah. Like it tastes like an actual chocolate ice cream milkshake mm. that is just melted mm. really really delicious really delicious and what a fantastic way to end i'm going 10 out of 10 for that i'm gonna go 10 out of 10 as well yeah lorraine that is just delicious and i'm so pleased you put in three extra pouches i, know. I wonder if she knew we were gonna like it i think she so had, that's why i think she, she had an inkling a five six seven eight I, I would like to say it's a difficult one, which it could be because there have been so many good things. But oh, I know what you're going to do. There was something that was so standout for me <laughs> yeah. that I just have to give it to this. And it is this. Yeah, I knew you'd do that. It literally, though, could have been this. It could have been this. It could have been this. It could have been these. Could have been And this. it could have even been these crisps to oh, start with. Oh, the crisps were absolutely delicious. Oh, and that drink. The drink but was... this is the standout. This whole box was just up there, but yeah. this is... Amazing. And it's funny because when I started doing the treat of the week just then, I was like, oh dear, what would be my treat of the week? And then I looked down. It's the oval, yeah. oval maltine the biscuits. Oval maltine. These yeah, are love absolutely that. delicious. And if it's all right with you, can I have these yeah. then? Because, you know, they're my treat yeah, of the week. Yeah, because you're going to let me have this. Yeah, you me. have that. Yeah. Absolutely. Fine. Oh, Lorraine, you have put together such an incredible box. And what's really exciting is that's only part one of yeah. three. So we've got two more boxes to try. We will be sending Lorraine a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some of our British treats, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and if like Ashley like trying food from around the world, it's a great chance for you to try British goodies, but also help support the channel. And if you didn't want to get a box, don't forget there is a thanks button down below. That's just like giving us a tip, saying thank you for the videos, and we really appreciate it. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.